Highly contagious Omicron variant rages forward. Questions are circulating if a fourth booster shot is needed for added protection. There's a limit to how much boosting is really going to help. That point of clarity from Dr. Matthew Sims of Beaumont Health comes as Pfizer CEO says a vaccine that targets the COVID Omicron variant will be ready in March. It's a move many in the medical community support. And it might just be better to to say, OK, now's the time to make a newer version, update the vaccine so it covers the new strain. We do that with vaccines all the time. We do that with flu every year. The race to produce a new vaccine comes as states are receiving initial shipments of the COVID pill, a prescription only oral medication authorized to treat coronavirus. Just last week, Michigan received its first shipment. Data says that if you take it early enough within three to five days of symptoms, um, that it reduces the chance of being admitted to the hospital by 88%. But there's just one issue. Allocations to states are limited. We just don't have enough of it to go around. Um, I don't expect that it's going to make a major impact right this second. The fight to slow the spread of COVID continues as another COVID variant has been identified in France. It's unofficially named IHU, I-H-U. It's actually been around longer than Omicron. It also has a lot of mutations similar to Omicron. What it doesn't seem to do is be as contagious as Omicron. And that's good news because the medical community believes the infection rate caused by the Omicron variant is much higher than initially believed as positive results from at-home test kits are not being reported to the state. We are significantly underestimating the amount of COVID. But hospitals across the state are seeing the impact of the increased infection rate, and that includes Beaumont. We're full um, and our COVID case numbers are up again. Things are rough. In Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.